Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ninja H21. Coming to you guys with another video. Today we have the locker tour video we're going to go ahead and do today. And I wanted to do this before the new season started because um, I said I was going to do it, but I completely forgot about the video. Try to upload it. And then um, when I did up upload it and uh, I didn't make it public, it was a private video. The video had the music to the game louder than me and I, I couldn't do that and that's before uh i got this headset which i have now this is a new headset that i have now so hopefully it sounds really good in my videos i look back i always watch back at my videos to make sure uh i sound really good in it it doesn't matter how many views i get i wanted to do youtube for quite a while and if i said this once before but barely anybody seen it um if I was to look back at like myself when I was little, myself would really like what I'm doing now because I've been wanting to do this since I was like nine or eight years old to be just to be completely honest. Um, but throw that all aside. If you guys continue to enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, check that bell on so you always get notified every time a new video releases. And let's get right into this locker tour here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure we got everything right. Um, should we do it by season? Let's do it by season because next season about to come out. So let's go all the way down here to season one and work our way up. Um, I don't know if I want to rate my skins on like a locker tour one day. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do it this way. It's a little weird to see all those skins from like non-legendary to uh you know um legendary in general uncommon common uh <laughs> well it's no it's no common skins but it's uncommon then we got rare and epic a lot of different variables there um a bunch of different rarities of skins i like how far we got in though how far we came into the whole fortnite thing it's been great. It's been great. I like some of the little changes that we have gotten. The skin needs to be fixed still. That's a, that's a little sad. You see his helmet, right? You see hers. That's 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 still kind of sad there. Just looking back at that. But it's nice. It's nice to uh, still see this game still being like one of the top games out right now. To be completely honest. I wish, like, I'm I'm still hoping for this, man. Whenever we get another Call of Duty game, prefer preferably Black Ops. I hope I hope zombies come back in some capacity that can just make me, um, not stop playing Fortnite, but make me want to play Call uh, some else more than uh Fortnite because I don't know. I just see myself just not enjoying the game like I used to. Um, as far as me being on PlayStation, that's one of the reasons why I struggle so much playing the game. Because I be on PlayStation a lot. Um, I'm not sure. This can, yeah, I think, I think I did. Um, I be on PlayStation a lot, and I really don't want to be. But it's the only it's the only console that can run this game well in the house. Uh, I don't have a Series S or a Series X yet, so... My biggest complaint is the controller. I don't really like the controller. I'd rather use a PS4 controller. Uh, it's, there are adapters out there, but I really don't have the money for that right now. Um, I just wish I could use the Xbox Remote and play the game. Because I did get on Xbox One uh, a while back to play Fortnite. The game was... It ran like crap. Same with the PS4 version. Ran like crap. And I just didn't enjoy playing I, I didn't enjoy playing like that my aim was pretty good though but anytime i got into a build fight my game would just completely break on me or freeze or do something that will get me killed or eliminated if you will i just wish things could be a little bit better in that sense but i guess it is what it is um it's it shouldn't be too long till we until I can get it. Uh, go ahead and get a Series S. I'm gonna get one over an X only because of how much the cost difference is between one another. But 
I've been saying this for a while. As long as it runs better than what I have and it's not doing that freezing and doing all this other types of stuff, um, I'll be okay with that. Let me know in the comments, though. If any of you guys got a Series S, um, let me know how it runs because I'm, I'm really, really interested to seeing how that, uh, how that goes. You know what I'm saying? So um, that would be pretty nice to um, see how everything unfolds there. You know, so I would love, I would love to give me a new console though. Really, really, really would do. But, uh, new season comes out tomorrow. Um, we're going to have a lot, lots of big changes. Um, a little bit of changes on the map. I don't think the map is going to get really changed that much. Um, weapons, hopefully the weapon pool isn't insanely broken. I just hope it's fun. I really do hope it's fun. I hope we have better ARs that it's not like the SCAR this season. I mean, my aim hasn't been too bad with the SCAR, but it's, it's, it's not like it used to be. I wish we. I, I, I hope we got different ARs that just not scoped ARs. Um, I hate using the red dot rifle. I, I really do. Um, shotguns, the pump is going to be back. So that's going to be interesting to see how uh, the pump works. Um, it's not going to 200 you in the head right away. But that's what we got SMGs and stuff for. Because I know that's going to be pretty annoying in zero build. That's the, I think that's one of the reasons why the damage is pretty much done in the first place. You're going to have the extra 50 shield. So even if you did get 200 pumped, um... You would still have extra 50 shield left, so I, I don't really understand. They would have to buff it in that sense um, if that if that was to uh, still go on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I'm not too big on like the numbers and everything, trying to figure out what damage a weapon does. I just want to know what's the best in the game, and you know, I just use it then. Um, Sometimes it's, they're all really good weapons, like the DMR. I underrated the DMR this season. It's actually probably one of the better weapons, if you know how to aim with it. Um, I just can't. I, ch I just can't do it. I can't do I can't do a lot of things like I used to. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, it's a big, big uh, uh, season tomorrow. Um, battle, new battle pass, new battle pass skins. I'm going to see how long it takes me to finish it though i don't think i'm gonna buy a skin or anything in the uh in the uh item shop until i buy the battle pass uh bundle um i'm gonna play a little bit with the regular battle pass i have we will have a video rolling out hopefully tomorrow um we might stay up overnight just so we can get the video rolled out um i don't know how long it's gonna take but maybe we'll get some early sleep or something um, just so that we could check out the new season. I will set me on lawn to probably about maybe five or six. I will put the PlayStation in rest mode. Um, if you guys have a PlayStation 5 or a PS4, put it on rest mode. It probably will download the season by the time you wake up. But, no, no, that's just me. Um, I did that with uh, Fortnite with one of their last updates. I put it on rest mode and it downloaded it when i woke up it was already installed so that's what i'm gonna do for this season but uh yeah i ain't gonna try to uh do the battle pass video too early i'm gonna let it at least breathe for a little bit because a lot of people do be on for the new season a lot of people that don't even like fortnite really does come back to just see what the new seasons are like and one of the biggest things about that is um, it brings a lot of people in, which makes the servers not really like, uh, they, they just like shut down. They just don't really like, uh, having a lot of people on their servers, not for big updates like that. Fortnite, that's what they want though, to, uh, and then they'll fix it as soon as possible. Like they'll fix it really quick. That way everybody can go in and play and check out the new season. You know, uh, with this new season, it's going to be a new starter pack it's gonna be obviously the new battle pass new skins uh hopefully ones that are you know concepts and not 
Marvel and DC skins, which Marvel got literally more skins than any other, uh, you know, any other thing that Fortnite has really collabed with, any other company or whatever you want to call it. And I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just getting really sick of them. A lot, a lot of them look good, but a lot of them is just not it. I'm just gonna be completely honest. It's a lot. It's a lot that they need to focus on. I'm not sure if they're going to go ahead and uh, work on it. It's a little. It's a little of the minor details too. Like, have you ever got a win? I I got a few wins uh, this past week, but. Have y'all ever got a win and then just checked to see if um, you can emote or walk around? Like, that's all removed. It's like you can't ready up after the match, uh, after winning, and then um, it was something else. Um, you can't change your skin or something um, after getting eliminated in a game and stuff like that. Like... A lot of the small details that worked a lot is getting removed, but I don't know if it's going to be put back in next season. I hope it really does, but something's telling me it's not. Um, I hope I hope it comes back. I hope it comes back because it, it like such a little detail like that was so good. I didn't really have a problem with it at all. I really didn't. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be happening. Uh, I don't know how how the fir the season going to come out, how it's going to feel. But usually when it does come out, the game does feel more smoother. But then when they come out with another update, it's completely, completely trash for some reason. When they come out the new season, the game feels like the way it should feel. But then when they release updates throughout the season... The game just feels like like it's messed up for some reason. I love Fortnite and I'm continuing to play Fortnite. Going to continue to get my criticism on the game. And yeah, we'll see what happens from here on out. Hopefully we get a really, really good game going into the next season. Um, hopefully everything just feels right. What I'm mostly concerned about is the weapon pool. Um... What are the what are, are we getting super levels next season? Or are we gonna get like some edit styles that look insane? And are the pickaxes gonna uh, have edit styles to them as well? Because every season it just feels like we get a super level, nothing to match it, no backbling to match it, no pickaxe to match it, no glider, no rap. I don't know. I just feel like with super levels. It needs to be super level wraps, super level back blades, super level pickaxes. I don't care if you put them in more challenges, but at least make it so I can grind for something of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot there, and I kind of just want to see what Fortnite does next season. And I want to see what the new uh, starter pack is like as well. I, I really do want to check that out and make sure... That is where it needs to be. It should it should be a good one. It should be a good one. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This season, this next season, is going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm, I'm really waiting to see what that pump is like, too. Um, balloon sniper, gas sniper, a whole bunch of dumb things, too, that needs to be, like, checked. I don't know. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. I'm 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 honestly generally surprised. I'm uh, got everything this season, but since that happened, it makes me want to get everything from every other season that's coming out. So we're gonna try to do that for the next season. We're gonna we're gonna really try to do that. And I want to know y'all thoughts. What y'all think about this season? And what do you think uh, are going to be the biggest changes next season? And what what do you guys have seen that I haven't? Because I know it's a lot of things I haven't talked about yet. And um, it, there are a lot of more things that are coming that we don't know about. Or probably y'all know about that I don't know about, right? So, oh yeah, Legendary Augments are coming out too. Like, I think it's Legendary or Mythic or something like that. Um, they supposed to be coming out soon. 
in the next season. I don't know if it's going to be right away, but they're supposed to be coming out. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys continue to enjoy and want to see more Locker Tour videos here in the future, I think I made some videos uh, cause, uh, that, that was like concerning that, I guess, um, with, with my Locker Tours gliders and uh wraps and stuff just do like a little locker tour in them if you guys want to see more of that or more skin videos in the future make sure you give it a like subscribe do all the other stuff and i will see you guys in the next one peace